the Yellowstone caldera continues to show signs of movement. In March, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory recorded 70 earthquakes, including two swarms near West Yellowstone, Montana. The strongest was a magnitude 2.2, just six miles from the park's western boundary. One swarm included 22 quakes from March 3rd to 4th. A second, with 11 events, followed from March 19th to 22. These clusters are often linked to fluid shifts deep underground. While the volcano alert level remains normal, there's increased hydrothermal activity at Steamboat Geyser. Minor eruptions persisted throughout March, and based on past behavior, a larger hydrothermal event may occur in the coming weeks. Ground movement is also ongoing. GPS data shows over two centimeters of subsidence in the caldera since October, with further changes near Norris Geyser Basin. Since early April, quake activity has spread outside the park. Montana saw a 2.4 near Dillon, plus smaller events near Butte and Pablo. Wyoming recorded a 2.2, and Utah saw a similar quake near Willard. This is not a crisis, but these small shifts are how pressure builds in systems like Yellowstone. Every event adds context, and every swarm is tracked in real time. We'll release another Yellowstone update when next month's data comes in. If anything significant happens before then, we'll be the first to cover it.